found game immediately. <laughs> what is ego? Ego's like the difficulty of aiming your pitches, fielding, and hitting a ball. So the better you do, the higher your ego goes. Your pitches will be harder to aim. Um, your, the, your opponent's pitches will come in a little bit faster. It's a way for them to balance the like two players who are uneven. Now, does it work? I don't know. Extreme power hitters. That's scary. Actually, that's not scary. We shouldn't be swinging on pitch one. This isn't dusty. We should at least try to learn something about our opponent. <laughs> you know what? Brief return to contact swinging. Don't eat the inning just because the you know you're two outs in here. Try to claw your way back a little bit. A little low on that. A little low on that. They're throwing balls. Strike on the corner. Throw another one. That was right on the hands. Should not have swung at it. That was more my pitch. There you go. Get something. A little moral victory. <laughs> Alright, how are we looking here? Werner Bergenberg? He's got some heat, make him use it. Okay, there we go, momentum. First goal. Get your pitcher locked in. That's looking out of here. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Good start. All right. Okay. First goal. Get your pitcher untensed. He's not tense. He's not tense. He's not sweating it. That's not wild. No shot that's wild. That's a good pitch. Now he's on two. Give him a little tunneling. Now give him the same pitch. Holy cow. R rare NL strikeout. You never throw low to an opposite side batter. This is stuff that I, I'm mostly just... I mean, we just missed on the pitch. You got to respect that one. I'm mostly just pissed off that I played baseball for like 10 years and no coach ever told me that. I mean, I didn't play high level baseball, but like, to be fair, the level of baseball that I played at was mostly like trying to explain for the 400th time to like the worst fielder on the team that if there's nobody on the base and they hit the ball, you throw the ball to first. Most Little League coaches are kind of just like dudes. That's true. I guess it's not like I used to play college ball. It's like, I'm okay giving up my Wednesday nights. <laughs> okay, Sakta, we need these. <clears throat> he knows I'm swinging at everything. We need to go back to contact ball for a minute. There you go, redeemed. Basic pitching is hard up and in, soft down and away. Okay. Hard up and in, soft down and away. Good to know. That's, it also is easy to remember, which I appreciate. Come on. 
Favorite Twice song? I'd have to say The Feels. Because it's one I know. Oh, I've... We're making it. Okay. Redeemed, redeemed. That was a good at bat. We haven't had one in a bit. Now that was a... I, I deserve that one. I was so late on the steal. I was thinking about twice. Little Baltimore chop on that one. Bad inning. Bring it back. Favorite New Jeans song? I'd have to say... Um, Super shy. Hard up and in. Hey, hey, mission accomplished so far. Hard up and in. Soft down and away. Hard up and in. I guess there's no advice that <laughs> can just defeat being really good at batting, huh? Otherwise, they would do that in the major leagues and no one would ever hit home runs anymore. Okay, you're, you're someone we can actually... Oh, what have I done? Huge. We also got to do some batter analysis. Like, this batter is really good. So you can throw, you have to throw a little bit more on the corners. You have to throw a little bit more in the marginal areas of the strike zone to lower their, their swing quality. You have to do some soft down and away. <laughs> then you got to do some fast up and in. I mean... It's not that bad. Third baseman, number 10, Ron now you throw garbage first. Let's get a let's get a head in the count. And then our power swing is easier. We don't have enough power to really make it outside of the warning track, but that felt good. That was that was a more sensible at bat. That's a ball. See that's that's a good pitch. I was just fast. That was probably a little bit outside, but there's more along the lines of the, the pitches we want to take. Okay, now the pitcher, just pray. I, uh, excuse me, uh, umpire. <clears throat> umpire? They waited until the ball crossed the line in order to make it fair, which is unfair. That's legal? Oh, okay. Well, carry on then. <laughs> Never mind. Good game. Good play. Smart play. You gotta admit, there's been a lot of funny misses with very low percentage chances. No, 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 no. I just remembered. <laughs> You're not supposed to... Oh! <laughs> You're not supposed to throw high and away to a power hitter. Okay. He's, he's making it at home. You're not stomping him there. Huge power. I'd like to throw you garbage. I mean, I, I'd like to get you swinging at something and strike you out. I'd really rather not walk you and then have another power hitter step up. Insane. Song, we needed that one. Whoo! Against power hitters, you wanna throw more low balls. I'm not trying to delegitimize the entire sport of baseball. But why is it like every rule in baseball is like, you know, do this. And then it's like, oh, when I told you to do that, this guy weighs over like 190 pounds. So don't do it against those guys. If that, that's exclusively for guys who are like 160 and, and under. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I was going to walk him. I, I swear to you, I was going to walk him. Is your slugger feeling sluggish? Okay. Now we're, we're getting our ass kicked, okay? Let's start to rebuild here. Little contact would go a long way. Great pitch. What adult man weighs under 160? 50% 50 of the population 40 years ago. Great pitch, great pitch. That could bloop. Bloop, yeah, it's not blooping. Could be worse though. Now that looks more like my pitch. Don't dive, don't catch, don't catch. Oh, good catch, good catch. <clears throat> good pitch. A little low for me. That's more like it. You're not catching that on your offhand. Start with the man on base. Number six, Sacta. Sacta contact, please. It's a little high for my taste. That was more in line with me. What was it, a little early on that little tip, little tippy? Probably shouldn't have gone for that one, but behind in the count, you get a little desperate. Now batting, a okay. I think Werner Bergenberg didn't have a great game, okay? <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> Let's get a fresh arm out there. Umpire, please. I need I need a little bit of help. Should should there isn't there something like game management? Honestly, I'm gonna accept my walk rather than pitching like a home run to you. Go ahead. We'll play for the double play instead. Because we knew, we knew a horrible pitcher was coming up next anyway, or a horrible batter was coming up next. Isn't there something like game management? Like, if you're getting your ass beat... ...in baseball, shouldn't the umpire, like, kind of widen the strike zone? Just to make it more interesting for the, for the fans? There we go. How is that fair? Well, it's not fair, but it's like penalties in the NHL. It's like, you know, if, if you're up 3-0 and you happen to do something that's not a penalty, you run the risk of being penalized. If you didn't want to be penalized for it, you probably, you, you shouldn't have scored so many goals so early. I mean, those tickets are pretty expensive. Don't, oh, thank God. Piece of crap! Yvette can do it. Oh, they're just they're taking their they're taking what they got. Is that really how NHL penalties work? Nobody wants to work these days and nobody wants to admit it, but there is there's an element of that for sure. He loves the curves, even the curves that don't go in the zone. He loves them. Come on, catch catch him. Oh, he's he's playing a clean game. Okay, he knows I'm tilted. I'm throwing, I'm throwing garbage. Mash Taters is up. <laughs> he loves the curve. At the very least, we, we got to show progress. We can't just give him a, a curve ball and let him get on base. We got to at least challenge him with the fastball. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Eight, nine... One shy of the mercy rule, huh? All right, Diggler, you're going to take your lumps out there. That's, that's the mercy rule, I think. Good game. Nice pitch. <clears throat> Nasty pitch. You're just a better player than me, quite frankly. Do you miss Dusty? No, it's refreshing to lose to someone new, honestly. Like, I would rather 
play a novel person every time than get beaten by someone 10% better than me every single game. I think that's why like, I haven't gotten involved in any local sports. Like, I don't want to join like community center badminton or something like that. And then just like one 57-year-old guy who sold his shares in Hootsuite and retired and plays badminton like 11 hours a day is just going to like wax me every day. We need more skill-based matchmaking and less region-based matchmaking. Six eleven. I mean, it's pretty bad. It's karma for the crazy bones kid. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I can take that. <clears throat> you aren't in any local sports because you don't like interacting with strangers. I actually like interacting with strangers. I know it's a little crazy. In our relationship, I am the social one. Like in this new neighborhood, people come up and talk to me. People will just walk by and be like, nice weather we're having. And I'm like, it is. And then they're like, how long have you been here? And I'm like, I don't know, like a week and a half. And they're like, welcome to the neighborhood. I've lived here for 47 years. Then my wife says, nobody talks to me when I'm out there by myself. And I'm like, that's because when you're out there by yourself. Hang on, give me a second here. You're, you're not making eye contact. There's a whole, uh, there's a song and dance. When you see someone coming, if, if there's only a couple of, like if it's just you and them, you make eye contact and give them like a light smile or something like that. Then they know that you're like amenab amenable to the conversation. And then when they get closer, you go, hey, and then they can choose whether to say hi or to continue the conversation. I mean, my team is like speed demons, right? I feel like we should be stealing more often. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got me. You got me. Now batting. Catcher number 15. Anton, Anton, give me something here. Not my pitch. I, that's just too high, man. That, it's not going to stay fair. Well, I used to not enjoy talking to strangers. But that's because, like, depending on which part of the city you're in. That is just a horrible swing. You don't want to talk to someone who's going to want to talk to you. You know, people are in a rush. Oh, that's a hit. I forgot what it feels like to score a run. Ooh, RBI. <laughs> But no, I don't, I don't mind being somewhat social. I'm not a social butterfly. Like, I don't seek people out necessarily, but... I don't mind making a little small talk now and then. Maybe it has changed as I've gotten older. <laughs> Werner again? Okay. Fastball's up and in. You know, I respect that Werner wants, um, he wants a second crack. Oh. It would have been really easy for him to get the yips and then try to convert to being a power hitter. Instead, he said, get me back on that mound. I got to shake the cobwebs out. The only thing that sucks about small talk is like, on a weekday, I'm usually like somewhat in a rush. <laughs> I don't mind having like a little stop and chat of like 15 seconds, but when it's like, uh, you know, I'm just going out to like, uh, you know, take a look at the, the old homestead and then someone wants to talk for like eight minutes at 8.20 in the morning, I'm like, I got, I got stuff to do, man. I got to get out of here. How about a change-up in the same spot? We don't throw that too often. 
Oh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But I also think there's something about it that's like it's a... Almost like a young versus old sort of thing. I know younger people. And keep in mind, when I say younger people, I was a younger person once. Get owned. I would villainize uh, small talk. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, old people, they always want to talk about stuff that doesn't matter. They always want to... Good catch. <laughs> they always want to talk about the weather. They always want to talk about sports. Why don't we ever talk about important stuff? Well, because I don't want to talk about important stuff with a stranger. Like, meet someone for the first time and be like, you know, who'd you vote for in the last federal election? Like, it's not necessary. You can make it. You can make it. So why would you do small talk? Well, because, like, most human beings, in your brain, you get a little sense of contentness from, this, from just a, a, a dab of social interaction. Doesn't have to be a long, drawn-out conversation. It's, you know, just, just by having a conversation with another human being, you feel more integrated into the community and, and satisfied as a result. At least that's the way it's felt as I've gotten older. Not interested. In, not interested? Come on, Yvette. Oh, <laughs> I'm not stealing. Who do you think I am? Jane's addiction? It's not my pitch. We're, we're actually batting well. We're at least protecting the plate. That was horrible. But at least we're not taking any more like, uh, you know, two pitch at bats. Or not as many. Number 19. Oh, you got to wait for those off-speed, brother. Huge. Go home. This is it's the best chance you're going to get for a bit. That's making it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, 19%. <laughs> I got to work on my reaction time, dude. That's, like, so slow. Get him. Oh, you're so lucky you turned translucent. Round the bases, brother. You got to get that pitcher out of there, man. Look at him. Contact. Okay, that was just three great pitchers. Literally in exactly the same spot. But you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm still feeling pretty good. Here's a weird pitch. Oh! Then a handcuff cutter on the inside. Then the same pitch might just glance the edge of the zone. Oh! A strikeout! Good catch, Elroy. Good catch. Twitch is kind of cool. I'm usually a YouTube Andy. I was talking about it with Dan. It's not like this is not meant to be like um, mean spirited, but it is crazy to me that like literally every stream, someone will come into chat and be like, hey, I didn't know you streamed on Twitch. I just watch on YouTube. And I'm like, man, not to sound like braggadocious, but you've been missing out. I, I enjoy my YouTube content. I, I know my place in the YouTube ecosystem. But Twitch is like, I mean, you're getting like the unfiltered Manuka honey. You're not getting the one that comes in like the bottle that's shaped like a bear. You're getting it straight out of the beehive. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> First home run. Werner went straight to tents. Sorry, brother, just get out of this inning. 
Manuka Honey, you've been watching Sorted. I don't watch anything on YouTube. I, I, I honestly couldn't tell you where the... where the word Manuka comes from. I don't really know what it means. Okay, I gotta, I'm, I'm getting back into my pitching loop, okay? My pitching loop is... Huge. Throw two quick strikes and then throw marginal bullshit. Okay, you, you got a low miss there. That's fine. It happens to the best of us. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's got me doing the stop and start. Sack that sack that run while you're jogging! And now I'm swinging it. Okay, deep breath, deep breath. Oh, it's looking good. It's going to do it. It's not going to do it. Oh, my God. How do you hit home runs? 90 power. Good angle. <clears throat> debatable. Heavily debatable. Decent cut, kid, but not going to get the job done. Okay, I think we're, uh, we're relying now on a new pitcher. Don't let the game slip away. And then throw like... Uh, that didn't look wild to me, but you're the expert. Mm -mm. Don't throw low fastballs. We throw high fastballs. Get ahead in the count. Not even scared. Save your legs. Throw high fastballs. Get ahead in the count. Get your head in the game. I'm glad that they're hitting balls. Because if they didn't hit balls, baseball would be the most boring sport of all time. How about a high curve? Oh, he catches you. <laughs> and then a high fastball. Mess with your eye line. That's fine. I'm letting you go. Elroy. He's got that dog in him. Any out will do ya. That's bad. Well, we're not going home, so just hold him on first. Baseball, genuinely the worst sport. The rules are so complicated and it's so boring. Yeah, but the video game is goaded. The sport, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. But the video game is sick. No, you're right. It kind of sucks, actually. <laughs> they should make a pitcher who... Their pitches can't be hit. Four hundred and eighty-seven feet, kind of a dinger for sure. See, that's what I want to see more often. I feel like we're giving up more home runs than pop flies. How batting the third baseman, number ten, Ron Say. I also, feel, I'm not necessarily blaming my team, but I do feel like I'm playing my team badly. Like, I shouldn't be focusing so much on, like, power hitting. With a team that's built around stealing bases. That was a good hit, man. Unfortunately, um... I can't change my team mid-pennant race. You're stuck with your team for the whole pennant race. <laughs> what are you doing? They're going for an inside the park home run, brother. Shrink your goals? Well, like, let me just tell you what happened, okay? So, like, I played okay on the first Super Mega Baseball stream we did this week. And then I said, like, what do I need to take it to the next level? And everybody said, 
But when your ego gets high, you absolutely need to power swing. There's no point in trying to contact swing once you get into like 80 ego. Which we were relatively close to. So then I started trying to power swing. And since then, I've, I mean, my team is not built for power swinging A. But since then, I've also just gotten my ass beat like every single game. So I think we got the wrong style of team. I also feel like, and this happens in like every game. But the only people playing Super Mega Baseball on a... A Thursday at 11 a.m. are predominantly people who are good at the game. <laughs> or bald people like me. And Dusty. I don't want to, I don't, I don't even want to talk about Dusty, okay? Because Dusty's just doing, they're just living their life, which is fine. Dusty has played 500 games of Super Mega Baseball in a month. So I think I don't need to say anything about Dusty. I think you're inferring <laughs> what I'm saying about Dusty. <laughs> Which is that someone with that amount of time on their hands should not be matching up against me in any video game. They're 16? Yeah, I don't want to play a 16-year-old in a competitive video game. Give me another 34-year-old, man. I know there's not many of us out there, but... Thirty's the best I could do? I mean, honestly, I would take it. Okay, well, the good news is we don't have to pitch again. <laughs> Wiggles Freeman. They, okay, this is uh, BM, but it's funny. They put a position player in, didn't they? They did. I can't believe it. The BM. He's throwing me exclusively like like cork balls. Now batting, the catcher, number 50, Anton Goodwood. I mean, I'll take the opportunity. The, the only thing I'm worried about is that it's like it's gonna lead to some bad habits. Now batting, the first baseman, number six, Sacta Song. It's crazy that there's people who play video games more than someone who makes a living playing video games. Brother, I don't know if you're for me or against me, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, we're, we're on exactly the same page. Okay, you should not be swinging at that. When they're throwing these home run derby pitches, you got to wait for your meatball. Or you could just, you know, ground out. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, 46-22 versus a 38-02. One thing that would be nice is if we could just... I would just like to play somebody that's lower ranked than me. We just, we just had... If you include the Dusty games, we probably played 11 games in a row against people who have a higher rating than me. Just give me someone that's got a lower rating than me. Okay, it's Dusty again. <laughs> that's unfortunate. We are 6-2? and two? Yeah, I know, Dusty. You've won 75% of the time. I can't believe this motherfucker was in chat saying... Don't worry, I'll smoke before this game. It's a fucking Thursday at 10.50 a.m., you psycho. If anything, if you're living that kind of lifestyle, the weed's just going to power you up. It's not like you've given yourself like a handicap to make it easier. You're about to enter the weed zone. I 
I work 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. I work 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. Come out, we've got you surrounded. I work 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. I work 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. Okay, on the bright side, we have the worst pitcher of all time. Right, we don't throw low fastballs. I remember that. One thing you can throw, a little bit of this, that's a home run. <laughs> Good start. All right. Fantastic. Sorry, right, it's just 1 0. Plenty of game left. That wasn't even a power pitch, and I messed up the placement. So, you, you know, that's on me. <clears throat> Huge. Oh, thank God. <laughs> This is a good pitch. It was a good pitch. Oh, good try, good try. We played the at bat right. Now batting, the third baseman, number 37, Tony Perez. You're already tense. That's that's not a good start for us. Because you're you you're a bad pitcher too. Come on, come on. Can you get him at home? I don't think you're going to get him at home. All right, 2 0. BB Takabasi. BB Takabasi, you're getting fastballs right down the middle. Oh my God. <laughs> Running campaign has got 0.3%. Come on! First baseman, number 14, Ernie Banks. Okay, we need some low balls. Oh my god. Gee, you gotta you gotta grab that sucker. We let them get the bases low. Uh, they could have got him at second as well. This is a damn disaster, man. The second baseman, number 14, Champ Duffer. This game is the worst. Brother, you're my opponent. Why did you cue? You did. You're, you're like, I regret queuing now? You're the one who queued. I don't understand what you want me. What do you want me to say? I'm just here minding my own business. Holy cow. I got you to swing at a ball for the first time in eight games. No, the, listen, Dusty, I'm going to hit you with the, like, the easiest pitch of all time so you can grand slam and we can get to the mercy rule as fast as possible, okay? This is a cutter fast. Actually, you know what? It's a curveball that's going to hang right in the middle. Okay, nice try. You got you to be a little bit uh, later than that. Dusty, come on, man. Why are we doing this? I didn't bully him into resigning. <laughs> if anything, I want to lose so that I can actually play people who are around my level instead of getting fucked in the weed zone nonstop. Dusty's try Dusty knows that they shouldn't be queuing against me nonstop. Then they queued against me anyway, and then they felt bad for kicking my ass because we're not at the same level of skill, and they tried to save face by resigning. I've done it myself. I've been in tournaments of shame before. They can't choose who to queue against. They can choose not to queue against me by just waiting until I get into a game with somebody else who's probably going to beat me 10-1. Just wait. We'll take turns. I would let you go first too, but I don't think you're streaming, so I can't see your screen. Dude really said I'll smoke before this one. 
and then went up 4 0, zero outs, bases loaded. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Your delay makes it impossible to snipe you? No, I'm not saying you're a stream sniper. I'm saying, in no uncertain terms, you're just better than me. I don't want to play you anymore. It's, it's not your fault. It's just not fun. You're just not in the, we're not on the same level. I'm sure it's fun for you. I won a game in the, in the Super Mega Baseball 2 Tournament of Shame. I beat someone like 35 to 1. It was the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. I understand being on the other side of the coin. I'm just saying, we play eight games against each other. We got to move on, man. You're better than me. It's like if, if the... NBA playoffs were like first, first to 51 wins. It was like a best of 100. I mean, come on, man. You, after I get swept, just let me go to Cancun. NL sowing. I want to play more people who suck at games. NL reaping. Tears. What are you talking? The joke doesn't even make sense. He doesn't suck at the game. I, if, I, if I could play somebody that sucked at the game, then the joke would make sense. Instead, you're just using green text arrows, but the, the meme format doesn't even apply. Okay, Timbo Slice. It's, it's still looking pretty bad. <laughs> but you know what? Recenter yourself. You got a chance. Is this better? I don't know yet, but it's always better to play someone who, like, at least when you throw your first pitch, you're like, you have hope in your heart that you could win. If he hits me with, like, eight home runs in the first inning, then we'll just fucking alt F4 and play something else. I just hope Super Mega Baseball, like, they need to put the game on sale for, like, $5. $40 is too much. Only old asses bought the game. Only baseball fans who know what a suicide squeeze is bought the game. We need a $3 baseball game. That's my pitch. Hello, Mouth, by the way. Okay, they like to throw balls. I've been there. We'll take the positive there. Not the worst at bat we've ever had. That was my pitch. Got a little under it. I'll never be mad about getting out on my pitch. If it's not my pitch and we swing, you get a little upset. If it's your pitch and you get out, that's baseball. It's not my pitch. Come on, man. Come on. It's not my pitch. Give me, some, give me a meatball. That's a meatball. Okay. Play a little cerebral ball. Get up in the zone. Or get up in the count. Play your game. It's a good pitch, but I'm going to make you work for it. You're lucky. You're lucky you're translucent, Fokker. Two men on base. Play for contact. I 100% got out of my mind, palace there. You don't swing on that one. Okay, better, better inning, though. We actually got a little momentum before we squandered it. Rich Ankiel, you know the deal. With, mid, with Rich Ankiel, we throw fastballs. We dare you to hit him at 101. His name's Rick. His name is whatever I want it to be right now, okay? I'm daring you to hit my four-seamer. Okay, he's responding to my dare appropriately. That's all right. We're one triple play away from getting out of the inning. Okay, 
I'm daring you to hit my four seam. Joke's on you, that was a cutter. I'm daring you to hit my high curve. Oh! And then I'm daring you to hit my low curve. I should catch you with the, the cutoff man. Yeah, because you can send it to third. Good. Very good. I'm daring you to hit my high curve. Ooh, that was a strike. I'm daring you to hit my cutter fastball. Dare accepted. He's loaded the bases. That's all right. Just more, more chance for a double play. <clears throat> How about a high curve? How about a fucked up curve? Holy cow, he hit the golf swing. Just hold him here. It's one run, it's not the end of the world. No low fastballs, that's like rule number one, which is why we broke it. Rules are made to be broken. Good play, brother. Really appreciate that. At least we got one. Two runs. It's not the end of the world. That's bad. Oh, thank God. Dirt ball. Thought I could catch you being greedy. Little hanging curveball. Just there in you. To get out of that inning with two runs is kind of miraculous. Okay, recenter yourself. Wait for your pitch. He's throwing high curves to me now. He, it, it's, I, why, am I, why am I taking it as DM or BM? When I do it to him, I'm like, I'm a genius. He does it to me. I'm like, how disrespectful. Good pitch, good pitch. Yeah, you shouldn't catch that slider on the hands. Okay. Ron C, I'm ready for it. You're a power hitter. Oh, a little pull on that one, unfortunately. A little too on the hands. You could tell because it broke the camera. Insane pitch. Credit where credit is due. Okay, Yvette, you haven't had a clutch hit in a bit. That's probably not going to do it. <laughs> That's definitely not going to do it. Okay. I would say that this is... Um, the, the red alarm is going off. We need to get you back in here, Rick. Increased error in pitch location. That's not good. <laughs> Huge. That's so catchable, Gee. Good depth perception. Okay, take me to normalcy, please. Normalcy? He's back to neutral. We're only down by two. That's not the end of the world. You're, you're taking him out? It's inning two, brother. I remember NL playing well in season one. We have to remember that, like, there's a lot of stuff. It's a real man, Chuck Knobloch. There's, a, there's two variables here. One of them is me and one of them is my opponents, right? When Malf and I played single-player Super Mega Baseball... I think the highest ego we ever got to is 70, and we were playing against the AI. And my ass is playing against uh, other people at like 72, 73. Huge, Yvette. You got to where you needed to get to. You're tense again? We, you've been pitching a great inning. Wade Boggs? 
Oh, no. That's not Wade Boggs. It's Bill Hobbs. Catch it. Oh! Hold her close. Elite curveball. Okay, okay. Pitcher number 24, Rick Ankiel. Okay. That's not a curveball. I was waiting for a curveball. Oh, boomer reaction time. Oh, <laughs> please play mouth suggestion. I'm just going to be real with you, okay? I, I get that it's not just the name because the name of the game is not another zombie survival game the name is uninspiring and that's fine but also the the other part that kills it for me and i think you already know my take on this it being a vampire survivors clone like i i think i'm kind of cooked on the genre good catch good catch like even the good ones i play them for like two hours and then i'm like what am i doing even Vampire Survivors, which I, I guess might be the best one. Like, when I'm playing it, like, the first run, I'm like, I, I never feel like, I, like, I, like the gear catches. You know what I mean? I never feel like I know what I'm doing. I always just feel like I'm walking. And then sometimes I win and sometimes I lose. Minus two, Halls of Torment is good. I played it. it. I mean, I didn't think it was bad, but when I was playing it, I was kind of like, what am I doing? Also, you can't minus two someone's opinion, Jonah Hill. Or at least you can't minus two someone's feelings when they're expressed like that. Oh, okay, okay. How about this? If someone says, I'm hungry, you can't say... Um, Minus two, you ate an hour ago. I mean, brother, it's a hormone in my stomach. What do you want me to say? Now batting, the catcher, number 15. I'm as surprised as you are. I didn't, I didn't make my own uh, metabolism. Oh, please, I need morale. <laughs> it's gone, dude. All right, at least there's something there. How about the first baseman, number six, Sacta I wasn't mean to Dusty. You're just anxious about conflict. Okay, maybe not a little too much on the hands. Plus two, plus two. I got a lot cooking in my brain. I wasn't mean to Dusty. You're just the kind of person who sees that their mom is calling and then turns their phone screen upside down. Yeah, I'm implying you send your mom to voicemail. What does that even mean? What does it mean to you? It doesn't matter what it means. Did it hurt your feelings? Because that's what it's designed for. I shouldn't have done it. 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 I'll, I'll take ownership of that. I shouldn't have done it. Can't be swinging at that. There you go. You're back. I'm not swinging at that. Okay. I mean, you walked me. I don't. <laughs> you're not gonna throw me out at first. Number ten. What a horrible swing. <laughs> Simmer it down. Simmer it down. That's more like it. It's, I don't think it's getting through. This guy's slower than molasses, but 
It's more like the idea that we wanted. And Rick, you're doing just fine. Stay in there. Give him another one. Up. Beautiful. And then... Like, it can't be in the zone. It's got to... It's got to dip out of the zone. <laughs> what do you? That's not your glove. Okay, a power hitter. Fastball is low and on the hands. That's a big one. Curveball in the dirt for double play potential. Okay, your mental's pretty good. Huge. Throw the same pitch. That's beautiful. Power hitters can't run. We take those double plays. Yeah, I would say React Court's demise is not exaggerated. The thing with React Court is like 50% of the posts were probably made up to begin with. The best time to do React Court was probably like circa 2015 or something like that, when people were still not afraid to overshare so much online. But AI definitely killed it. Like the number of, of fake posts that aren't even written by human beings anymore, they're all written by uh, computers is like, it's dystopian. We need Sergio Perez. We need to not swing at that. <laughs> Okay, contact play. You're only down by one one pitch. One pitch. You can't be swinging at those! Okay. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then we'll play something different. See you in three minutes.